It's currently 5 a.m. and I've decided to run a marathon. Let me catch you guys up. One year ago, I tried to run a marathon. I trained weeks to reach this goal and when the day came to run it, I quit. 2.2 kilometers away from the finish line. And not to get too deep, but this is something that I see a lot in my life. I think I've always wanted to do something different. I wanted to not work a 9 to 5 and I just wanted to make cool videos. And I think because this was different to the traditional path, I labelled myself as a bit of an underdog. But that mindset didn't always serve me. The problem with that mentality is that when I started finding success, I had a tendency to self-sabotage to maintain my underdog status. Or in this case, to not finish the marathon. Time has passed a lot since then and I've changed a lot. But through all this, I was still missing something. So two days ago, I decided to finish what I started and move past this for good. I decided to run a full marathon. This video is entirely edited and sponsored by Femora. More on them later. So we had a course mapped out of 42.2 kilometers and I was running on like five hours of sleep. I had my gels, I had my camera batteries. There was only one thing left to do. Run. I decided to run this marathon only two days ago and I didn't have too much training under my belt for this, but one thing I could have taken into account is the weather. See those clouds there? The forecast for today is 60% chance of raining, moving into 70% chance of raining. So, honestly, I'm hoping the weather holds out. I was nervous about the weather, but I think what was more on my mind was the lack of training for this. We're like 20 minutes into this and my hip flexors are feeling so tight. I don't think anyone will touch this one there. I was feeling pretty good. I was super slow, but this wasn't really about how fast I could go. It was more about just doing the kilometers and I was making some progress. Whenever I try to run long distances, it always seems like such a daunting task. And you know that thing that people say to break big tasks into lots of little tasks? For me, when I'm running, even trying to break it down to each kilometer is still too big. So as cliche as it sounds, when I run, I always take it one step at a time. So we're like a quarter of the way through, we're 10 k's in and it... Gosh, it's noisy here. You know what, this is a good time to introduce the sponsor of this video, Filmora. And the reason we're doing that is because we have to fix up this audio here and Filmora has a new AI denoise feature. So let's check it out and fix up the audio. Alright, so this video, like I mentioned before, is entirely edited on Filmora. So we have the ability to use some of their new features on this video and the one that I want to talk about is the denoise feature. And in this example, it's going to make sense because there's a lot of cars going around in the background and I want to sort of isolate my voice and get rid of those car sounds. So what we're going to do is hit the denoise effect and then select your strength. And what it's going to do is get rid of the background noise so clips like this where there's so much going on in the background can be usable again. You can also reduce very specific things in the video like for example if your video has hissing in it or humming in it you can use Filmora to get rid of those and the best part is is it's basically a click of a button. There's a lot of features including an AI speech enhancement in Filmora so if you want to check out these effects or try them out for yourself I put some links down below where you can find these and test them out for yourself. Alright so we're going to go back to the video but keep in mind that this next clip I've used the denoise effect on it to get rid of all the car noise in the background so keep an eye out for that all right that that's that's a lot better <laughs> we're, we're about a quarter of the way through and honestly I'm feeling all right like my, my legs are pretty all right I mentioned this before but my hip flexor is feeling so much tighter than I feel like it should be feeling right now and I have a few gels in my back pocket so we're probably going to eat something in probably like 5k's so alright let's keep going we were now entering Sydney CBD and running through the city just made me so happy not only did it mean I'm closing in on halfway through the run but the city was also dead quiet and running through a place that's normally so busy is just really relaxing 
so while I enjoyed the air and the views, the kilometers just faded away. Oh my god, this is the one thing I didn't want to happen today. Yeah, it started raining, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but I had uh, microphones and camera batteries on me, so I bought a plastic bag to cover these up, which really just made the whole run such a pain carrying around all this extra stuff. But either way, about five kilometers and a bit of a struggle later, this whole run may have been a little bit of a bad idea. I reached the halfway point. This is an important milestone. Halfway. I took this moment to have a bit of a break and now begins the journey back. The journey back was exhausting. My legs were dying, the rain wouldn't let off, and then remember my hip flexor I mentioned before? Well, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but it was so painful now. I went for a run about a week ago, nothing crazy, but I had a slight pain in my hip flexor. And now, 35 kilometers into the run, it was back. Oh my god. Okay, I think we need to just rest for a second. I think at this point, most people would chuck on a David Goggins podcast and just battle through it. But something that I feel like is often overlooked is how much you need to listen to yourself and know when enough is enough. You don't always need to break yourself to hit a goal. But you do need to ask yourself an honest question. Am I quitting because it's hard? Or am I quitting because I'm going to hurt myself if I push any further? And the truth is, I didn't know. So I decided to give myself a 20 minute break. And it turns out, that's exactly what I needed. All right, only four Ks to go. We're actually gonna do this. All right, we're on the last 100 meters. This is it. There we go. That's my finish line. We made it. We all struggle with limitations. Some from things we can't control, but more often than not, they're limitations we put on ourselves. If I've learned anything, it's that you can't get attached to one version of your identity. For me, I'm getting more and more used to owning my own successes and not so desperate to be an underdog anymore. And I'm really proud of that.